Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this video, Billy and I took a trip down to Burns Mill Park to do a little catfishing below a low head dam on the Big River. Now the Big River at this time was surging with a lot of rainwater. The river was rising really fast. There was a lot of flooding and we felt like fishing below a low head dam like there is at Burns Mill Park was just going to be prime real estate for catfish. So armed with our trusty catfishing gear, chicken livers, and night crawlers, we were going to give catfish a shot below this low head dam. So the big struggle with fishing with a surging river is all the debris, trees, logs, and whatever else gets washed down the river because it was jacking with our lines. I mean, this happens a lot whenever a river doesn't get a whole lot of rain. Like the big river probably hadn't seen that much rain in quite a while, which is why we were seeing all that debris. It was jacking with our lines and that can be really frustrating, but it just takes a little perseverance. Billy had that in droves and it really paid off. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, buddy. That's a good size fish. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm Chicken talking livers. about. Right it's definitely. Hey, we got a fish, guys! We got a fish! Oh! Ooh, ooh! <laughs> what do you think, flathead? No, I think it's a big channel. We got a fish! Yeah, there you go. There it is. That's decent. Perfect. Dude. That's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Right. Well, I told you we were gonna catch fish, guys. All right, yeah. Yeah. Let him go. Let him grow. Wrong way, stupid. That way. That way. He's like, no, take me. Take me now. Now, me on the other hand, I was not having the day that Billy was having. I had hang up after hang up after hang up. I lost so much lead on this trip. I'm gonna have to go back to the store and buy new lead. It's probably gonna cost a small fortune. That being said, apparently the fishing gods didn't think that was enough penance because on the way home, some jerk rear-ended me in my van with my kids in there of no less and just drove off. He didn't even bother to follow me into the gas station to exchange insurance information. And let me tell you, I, I was so pissed about it. So to the gentleman, to the exceptional gentleman who just hit me and then drove off without exchanging insurance information, I've got one thing to say to you. Learn how to f die! Well, if you guys enjoy catfishing as much as we do, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing and checking out some of the other catfishing videos on our channel. We hope to see you in the next video, guys, and thanks for watching.